automation versus faceless YouTube videos. Before we get into the verses, let's talk about the simple fact that most people don't want to know the truth about either one of these channels. Either one of these channels, automation or faceless, requires you to do work at some level. Either you need to create the videos or you need to pay someone to create the videos for you. So faceless, what does faceless mean? Faceless simply just means you're not showing your face. Typically that's the definition or there's no face on the channel or there's no real person on the channel. Automation, just a fancy word for outsourcing. So people want to talk about automation channels. They might be talking about using artificial intelligence, thinking about, okay, I'm going to take AI and I'm going to have AI generate the videos and that will automate the process. But typically automation means that you, you first and foremost come up with an idea. Again, things, a thing that no one wants to think about or no one wants to talk about when they talk about, oh, create a, a YouTube channel, create an automation channel, create a faceless automation channel, create a faceless or create a cash cow channel. In reality, what you're talking about at that point when it comes to automation, they're talking about building a business around outsourcing, finding someone else to do the work for you. Can you outsource the idea of the channel? Can you outsource the creation of the videos? Of course, if you have the money, but there's no way to know 100% if what you create is actually going to work. Now, there are clues. There are clues that you can see from other channels that have found success and you can try to copy that success, but without some type of actual spin or without some thought of what you actually want to do, do you just want to try to join the YouTube partner program? Do you just want to try to make videos that make money from AdSense? Well, when you join, if you are able to join the YouTube partner program at that point, it comes down to how much revenue can you generate from those videos? How much will advertisers pay or will advertisers pay at all to put their ads in front of those videos? Will you be approved? And we're going to take a look at this later in the video. Will you be approved to join the YouTube partner program by creating the types of videos that you have outsourced? That's automation. Now let's go back to faceless. What do you want to do with these faceless videos? Do you want to build an email list? Do you want to present affiliate offers? Do you have your own product? What are you going to show on the screen? And how are you going to create that video that you're showing on the screen? Are you going to use your own voice? Again, go back to the idea of outsourcing it. Maybe you want to create the videos and then have someone do the voiceover for the video. That's technically... If you look at the just definition of automation, that's technically going not going to be automation, except there's parts and pieces of quote unquote automation in that, because again, you're back into outsourcing. So let's pause at that point. Instead of me talking about it, let me show you what's going to happen. You go to youtube.com. This is an incognito window. It's a blank slate. This is what someone would see that doesn't have an idea of what video they want to watch. So therefore, this is the same thing you're going to see if you don't have an idea of the type of video that you want to create. Try searching to get started. Start searching videos to help us build a feed of videos you'll love. Now, once you sign in, that's what YouTube does. It builds around what you watch. Now, they do have down here, Explore, on the left-hand side, trending, shopping, music, movies and TV, live, gaming, news, sports, courses, fashion and beauty, podcasts, and playables. These are all categories that they've identified that people or that they can group types of videos in that people tend to watch. If you just click on the trending tab, that's going to open up videos that are trending right now. Also trending videos and music, gaming, and movies. So are you going to create an automation channel? Are you going to outsource these types of videos to be created? Whether you're looking at doing movies or sports and it looks like there's lots of movies and sports here in the trending tab. But here is a different type of channel. TGI Friday, Fridays. TGI Fridays Frozen Foods. Tongue Twister. 
But you see the idea, and then here's a gaming channel, it looks like. But this is the idea and the concept. Just to get an idea and a concept of the type of faceless and or automation channel that you're creating, you need to have an idea. Then, once you have an idea for the channel, then you need to be able to create videos. Check out each one of these channels. Click through each one of these channels and take a look. Do a little research and say, how many videos do they create? How many videos do they have? How many videos would I have to create myself without showing my face? How many videos would I have to pay someone to create? Then we move into, aha, now I have to find someone to create the videos. Freelance services. Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancer. Go here, you can search Google, and you can find these freelancing sites. These are the places that you need to go. This is a skill that you're going to have to learn to develop these channels, this automation channel or this faceless channel. You want to automate the process? First, you have to learn a skill. You have to learn a couple skills. Actually, more than a couple, but let's just say two big skills that you have to learn. Two skills you have to learn, you have to learn how to outsource. So you have to learn how to go find talent, find people that have skills that you don't have, and then make those videos for you, and then they have to come back for you, and you have to evaluate the product that you outsourced. Now, again, can you outsource everything? Yes, but you're going to have to learn how to write instructions so they know exactly what you want because they're going to want to know because you are paying them to create a product. So again, it goes back to an idea for a channel, an idea for each individual video, and an overall direction of how you're going to make money from these videos over on YouTube. Now, go back here. You're looking at these freelance services, or you could get a little deeper on Google, Video Creators for Hire. Then you go down and you start looking at the different options here. But then you could pause here and you can educate yourself. And again, these are the skills. This is the time that you're going to have to take before you start spending money on your automation channel. How much does it cost to hire someone to make a video? Based on factors discussed above, and it's talking about the LinkedIn article, based on the factors discussed above, the average cost of getting or video editing can range as low as $50 an hour for basic editing services for over $500 per hour for highly specialized and experienced editors. Now, you're just talking about editing at that point. If you were to go down through here and you were to talk about how much does it cost for a 10-minute video, options vary from basic motion graphics to high-quality, more complex projects, so you'll need a video budget. And look at this, $500 to $10,000 per minute. Okay, so at that point, you're looking and you're going, well... Wow, $500 to $10,000 per minute. Is that realistic? Okay, let's just go to Upwork and let's look at talent. And let's type in in the, in the search video. Here you can see the video creators that have a good record, 93% successful job, how much money they've earned, which means if they've earned a lot of money and they have, have a high success rate, likely they're going to do a pretty good job. And you can contact these folks and you can see here $15 an hour, $18.99 an hour, $39 an hour, or $30 an hour. And then you get into projects to help you get started. Again, they're trying to be helpful because you probably don't know what type of video that you want. Here you can see whiteboard animated, animated videos, animated explainer videos, 2D explainer videos, get a high quality infographic video for your project. And you can see here $100, $150, this is per video. You're going to need how many videos. You go back to that research you did on the incognito tab, looking at trending topics in the world of videos that are faceless or videos that are cash cow channels that are automated. And you're looking at spending this type of money. So just to pause and think for a second, now we've looked at, you understand what an automation channel is. Automation, fancy word for outsourcing. Faceless channel, fancy way of saying you don't put your face on screen. You just talk and you show your screen, or you talk and you show an animation, or you talk and you show a slideshow or infographics. It's just things on the screen with a voice or music. It doesn't have to actually be. If it's an entertaining video or if it's an entertainment style video, you could automate or outsource or create a video, a music video, and technically that is faceless. But think about it again. What are you trying to accomplish? You're trying to make money from this project. When you clicked on this video, you're thinking, I want to know the truth about automation versus faceless. 
I want to know how I can make money not showing my face on YouTube. I want to know how I can make money. And a lot of people say this, you don't need to do any work. You don't need to make any videos. Well, that's just a bunch of bunk. I mean, that is just an out and out lie. You have lots of work to do. You will have to get videos created or you will have to create the videos yourself. Now let's shift gears a little bit and think about actually creating the videos yourself, thinking about a faceless channel and the idea of automation or using AI. Here is NVIDIA AI. It's a cool, neat little video creation kit that you can get. It is going to use AI to create videos. But again, you go back to the problem of you're staring at a blank screen blank screen and it's saying give me a topic and detailed instructions and then it will generate a video so give me a topic give me detailed instructions what does that mean well what if i had a blog and i wanted to create content for this blog around a specific topic my ai blog my case study here where i use ai to create this content i could take it a little further and i could create a faceless channel and a quote-unquote automation channel where I use AI and I automate the process of creating the video. Just a subset, again, of automation, me not outsourcing the work, but me buying an AI tool to do the automation or to create the video by simply just putting in a few keywords. So let's just take one of these and just take the title. For example, Ancient Aliens, Mysteries of Early Extra Extraterrestrial Theories. Go back to NVIDIA AI and just paste that in. Remember, we have more detailed instructions we should give but let's just select generate a video and see what we get. Here it's creating your session. It's going to go, it's going to analyze that topic or that keyword or that idea and all the other instructions that you probably should give it to get a video. Or when you're using AI, you need to know what you want. You need to have an idea or a picture in your head. Just like when you do the automation or you start outsourcing, you need to have an idea. You can see here, analyst complete or analysis complete, still thinking. AI is using the instructions we gave it, which are a very minimum here. And we're going to be able to see what type of video that we get and if this video is usable. We'll be able to take this video. It'll give us an idea of what we have and where we need to go. But you're paying for this. You're paying to utilize this tool. You're also paying in the amount of time that you're spending to do this process. So you're having to spend the time to learn a skill. You're having to spend time or you're having to spend money to pay for access to the artificial intelligence. Of course, this is free to get started. There's a link in the description. You can check it out. So you can go through this iteration process yourself, or you can go through this process of learning the skills so you can understand faceless video, automation video. Let me put this all together. Let me really, really see what automation is going to give me. We go back to NVIDIA AI and it's saying, who is your audience? Conspiracy theorists, sci-fi fans, history enthusiasts, Let's go conspiracy theorists, look and feel, dynamic, epic. Let's go epic, platform, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. We're going to make this specifically for YouTube, and we're going to say continue. There's also an edit prompt button here, but I just want to select continue, and I want to see what this comes up with. It. What this comes up with. What am I getting for the time that I'm spending? What am I getting for the money that I'm paying video AI? This would be the same idea and the same concept. You can see it here. It's planning the script. It's going to walk through its process. And then we're going to be able to see the video, which it's not bad usually. But take that and say, what am I going to get? And you can see here, you can remove watermarks during export. You have to pay for that, obviously. So more money that you have to spend. But this is automation. This is if you think of automation from the aspect of I'm going to have AI create the video. Automation on the other side is outsourcing and sending this off to someone to do and you send it off to them, and you give them instructions. If you don't know what instructions to give them, you're relying on them to see your vision based upon the content that you've already created. Aha. Uh -huh. Based upon the content that you've already created. If you don't have the content already, then someone needs to do that for you. So you go back to outsourcing and the fact that automation is outsourcing, and then you can automate it with tools like this. You can see here it's synth synthesizing the voice. And you can see that it's putting all this information together based upon that keyword. And the AI is doing all that in the background. So that is automation and it is going to be faceless. So now you can see I've automated it using AI. I'm not going to show my face and it's going to be related to that topic where I've already created content for that blog. So my idea and my concept is to enhance my blog and to put it up on YouTube and then link back to my blog 
whether or not that gets accepted to the YouTube partner program and I make money through AdSense is a secondary factor. And that is my thought for doing this or utilizing automation. Note automation in the sense of AI to do the work for me, not outsourcing, and then also being a faceless channel. So at this point, you can see the nuance, but understand that the nuance is important and understanding what you're getting yourself into, the time and the money that is going to have to be spent and the skills that you're going to have to learn. Now we go back to NVIDIA AI at this point and you can see it's almost finished. So you can see how long this takes. So you can add this to the list of things that you need to know and understand. How much time does it take for me to create this video? It's going to create the video for you. That is a two minute and 50 second video. It created it for me, but the job is not finished yet. Now I need to watch the video. I need to think, does this video, is this video high, high enough quality? Does this video represent my brand? Does this video, or is this video going to work? When people watch it, is it something they want to watch? Does it interest me? Do I like it? Do I enjoy it? And then think to myself, now if I post this on YouTube, are people going to enjoy it? Are they going to want to learn more by going to my blog? That being my ultimate goal. And or if my ultimate goal is to generate AdSense revenue, is YouTube going to allow this, this type of content into the YouTube partner program? You don't know. You have to follow some guidelines. And if you don't know what those guidelines are, I'll leave a link in the description. This is the overview of the expanded YouTube partner program or just the YouTube partner program and the fact that they have changed some of the requirements lately. But you need to read through this. You need to understand what these are. You need to understand where this partnership program is available. They have a list of countries here that you can join depending on what country you're in. And then you can apply. And then it talks about what we review. And it talks about essentially understanding that what you need to do is First and foremost, you need to get approved, then you need to stay active. So once you create the channel, then you have to consistently upload content either to in the form of additional videos or you have to post to your community tab. But the idea here is you need to read these requirements. You need to understand the categories. You need to understand all of the different AdSense and YouTube policies. So definitely read this, understand it, then go back at that point and take a look at your video. So while we're here together, let's take a look at what we've created. Have you ever wondered if the early civilizations of our world had extraterrestrial visitors? Could the strange symbols and advanced architectural feats of these ancient cultures be evidence of alien encounters? In the chronicles of human history, many have speculated about the possibility of ancient alien visitors. Today, we delve into the mysteries and theories that have emerged over time, tracing back to the dawn of civilization. Our journey and I'll cut it off there. You get a pretty good idea. That's 25 seconds. It's using that iStock footage and it has watermarks on there. Those watermarks are going to have to be removed. You're going to have to pay for that. And now you've seen at this point what automation is. You understand automation using AI to create videos. You saw a 25 second clip. You're going to have to create a lot more of that video. If those videos aren't what you think will get monetized, if you're going after AdSense, you'll need to figure out a different way to create those videos and or outsource it and then edit those videos. Of course, spend time to create additional videos. You can, of course, if you already have a blog and you're creating that content, go that route and then you could automate it. And that automation would simply just be hiring someone to take that content and create the videos or create the videos in AI and have someone edit it. Again, these are skills that you'll have to develop along the way. But the ultimate idea here, the big takeaway from this video is automation, fancy word for outsourcing skills that you have to learn, skills that you have to develop over time and spend money to learn, or automation equals AI, time and money again spent on the application or the piece of software to do it, and then to check and see, is this piece of content a good piece of content that I can upload to YouTube? Will YouTube approve me for the YouTube Partner Program? Will it help people? Will people be entertained by it? And there is no, ultimately, there is no way of knowing if that's going to happen other than to do it. And as they say, there's nothing left to do it but to do it. Check out the links in the description. Lots of helpful content in there. If you have any questions or if you found success using automation and or faceless YouTube channels, let me know about your journey in the comments. Thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.
บาท